Senate have asked the federal government to halt the removal of electricity tariff and also talking about the subsidy. Good morning and welcome to the ladies on Equa Television, where we keep you updated with all that's happening around Nigeria from our Nigerian newspaper. I am Sele Lashdasha and I'll join the program alongside Rachel Tansy. Good morning, Sele. I'm fine. How about you? I'm great. Thank you so much, Rachel. And to our viewers at home, please do remember you can be part of the conversation and what's going on here in the studio by dropping your comment on our Facebook and YouTube handles, like, and also stream and share with your friends so they can also be part of what is going on in the studio this morning. And we will get straight into the paper, starting with the New Telegraph newspaper. On New Telegraph newspaper, federal government to expand direct cash transfer to 12 million Nigerians. We have a report that says Nigeria records extra 10% contribution to global oil demand. You can find details on page 8. And on Creative Economy, federal government partners NESG on funding targets 20 million jobs by 2027. Governors, legal luminaries bid a Dulo farewell. More details can be found on page 3 and 30. Tinebu approves Nandab's appointment as NIS Controller General, Gaga as NEXIM's ED. You can find details on page 4, 5, and 26. Labour Party National Chairman Abure arrested in Edo State. The big story on the paper is on power. Halt proposed increase in electricity tariff and subsidy removal, Senate tells the federal government. Moves to probe 2 trillion naira subsidy, 1.3 trillion naira, 1.3 billion naira dollar debt. Electricity consumers build 134.5 billion naira amid darkness. Current poor services caused by low allocation from grid. This is coming from EKEDP. Provide light or leave Southeast, IPOP tells EEDC. So we can see that the power issues mm -hmm. all over the country, one problem after another. Mm -hmm. You can find details on page 3, 8, and 30. Bandits kill over 34, kidnap 53, injure 18 in Benue and Zamfara. Burn over 500 houses and others. This is really sad. And on Edo Global, why APC and WC cancelled result? On state police, weak policing caused by corruption, poor training, and other vices. This is coming from senior advocates of the country. You can find details on page four. DSS to label shelf plan protests in the interest of peace warns against politicizing present economic situation we will never compromise nigerian sovereignty and security a statement coming from labor stop undermining us tuc tells nlc you can find details on page 2 4 and 26 and with this statement i hope tomorrow we will not start hearing that tuc are having a beef with nlc mm -hmm. let's see them working together and then eventually we will see some um you know result coming out regarding the federal government listening to the citizen still on hardship senate grills cbn's mpc nominees on way out of fx and food crisis more details can be found on page two and five and there's a study that says reducing meat consumption might prevent snoring so if you eat too much meat and you snore a lot you have a study that says reducing the consumption of your meat intake can help prevent <coughs> snoring more details can be found on page 26 and then we have a picture story where we see tinibu go on meet over ECOWAS crisis and others and that's all the news on new telegraph newspaper all right on first news newspaper the first story here is on hardship where we're seeing senate kicks and warn the federal government against hiking electricity tariff to prove the two trillion naira subsidy claim more detail of the story can be found in the paper and the big story labor divided over planned nationwide protests as nlc ds dss vows to go ahead with their shadow action and then tuc disagree with nlc for taking unlateral decision on protest right agero shell plan protest dss advice labor with more detail of this can be found in the paper constitution reviews senate to give priority to state police power devolution 
give Tinubu time to address challenges Gowan appealed to Nigerians more detailed in the paper. And on alleged defamation, MFL writes a Pabio threatening 25 billion Naira lawsuit. You can find more detail inside the paper. Why we arrested Labour Party chairman um, Abure, this is coming from the police. As party fingers a papa loyalists over development, protests erupt in Edu two days to the Guba primaries. More of that can be found in the paper. We can see the picture story showing um, the Labour Party chairman being arrested by the DSS in Edo State yesterday, and he has been taken away in a police van after his arrest. Edo Guba primary APC replaced Ozodema with Cross River Governor as the chairman. And we have diesel sold at 1,153 per litre in January 2024, a report coming from the MBS. Dispose Oshun Monarch petition IGP over move to select a new king. Leave sanction on Mali, Burkina Faso, Nigel, ex military rule. Ruler or just equals, you can find more detail of that. Possibly, this is the reason why Gowan went to actually visit the equals chairman, the president of Nigeria. Downside, we have Bank of England to release King Charles Bank notes in June. We will recall last year, they started um, drafting out a new currency to actually capture the face of the new king. And then here we've seen that by June, this naira will be released. Um, this currency actually will be released. So, for those who are interested in the international scene concerning that you can do well to grab the first news and read more on that story or any other story that is of interest to you and that's all on first news newspaper on the punch newspaper senate rejects electricity tariff hike probes two trillion naira subsidy and on 50th anniversary punch holds exhibition to showcase iconic photos Banks sell $172 million as CBN, EFCC, battle currency speculators. Experts polled NAFEM intraday rates. You can find details on page 23. The big story on the punch, TUC, NLC split as DSS warns labor against planned protests. NLC took protest decision unilaterally. TUC alleges vows to stay away from demonstration. Ajero accuses DSS of blackmail agency, warns labor against plot to destabilize nation. More details can be found on page 2. Motorists grown as fuel scarcity hits Lagos hard, and we have picture stories of Q-boat for those on their legs with gallons and then motorists including. And then you can find more details on page 24. Edo APC welcomes rerun after controversial governor primary. Lagos prophet drowns during Valentine's Day beach hangout. You can find details on page four and five. And we have on 10 billionaire fraud, EFCC to arrive ex quara governor Ahmed Friday. More details can be found on page 16. And that's all the news on the Punch newspaper. On Blueprint newspaper, still on the issue of defamation, we are having the former Syrian governor, MFL, threatening a Pabio with 25 billion naira lawsuit. You want to know why he's doing that? You can find more detail of that inside the paper. And we're seeing that in Ibuye State, we are having Lassa fever kills about 14 in Ibuye. We hope that the Ibuye government will actually swift into action. But the way the weather is going, we are having outbreaks. We just saw that of... Um, in Kebbi State, that of polio virus that uh, actually affected a number of people there. And here we're seeing in Ibu, we're having lots of fever. We hope that um, those, especially those who are involved with community health, because I know these are things that are more peculiar with communities. Talking about Lassa fever has to do with um, the clean environment, making sure you avoid all these rodents that do come into. I think mm -hmm. that's the paramount thing. And then be sure that you actually preserve your food very well. Where you buy, be sure that they also keep mm -hmm. the food well tight. With the way things are, I mean, with the hardship, we do not want to add more to health. So I think it's very important. Let us see that um, our community health workers need to sweep into action in this various state. We ma made mention of even meningitis. You now the weather is a bit tough and hot. So we hope that they will also do something about that. So we look forward to seeing what um, our health um, commissioners in the various states will do concerning that so we can be able to eradicate it as as soon as possible yes. that we can. Mm -hmm. in Just case. as you said, Sele, like when it comes to last night fever, it's all about storage. It's nothing more but storage because 
except we get to the part where we can completely eradicate rodents if we can exterminate them and completely not have rodents which is almost impossible because the ecosystem needs them also it's all about storage it's just making sure that your food these animals don't have access to eat it's, it's just all around um it just cycles around your storage and you just have to know the kind of rodent that gives it is not is not, not your is not the house mice or the the domestic rats you know let me put it like that you need to know so when you see that type of rodent around because there was once a time it was shown we it was all over the place the kind of um rodent yes that particular. particular that gives lassa fever and so the moment you see your food exposed to this kind of rodent you are supposed to do mm. something about it because in as much as it's a problem at the urban at the rural area we still have some few cases um, in, in the in the cities and all of that so just know it and then just store your food properly and uh, most importantly where is your food coming from you should also be sure that the people that you're buying from are storing their food properly and also cook your food well mm. and i think it's especially for things like gary that's one of the things you must be careful because it's one of those food that we do not cook it just by it nature is not meant to be either your eba for example you don't cook it it's just hot water and that degree of water will not kill any jam for you and then the same way we take it cold and all of that any food you know that don't go too much don't go through the process of heating and all of that that much you have to be very careful mm -hmm. those are the food you have to look out for and say you know what i have to store this very properly if not i'm going to be in trouble of course of course very 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 true well let's look at other stories still on blueprint or here on the business um, story we have currency outside the banks drop to 3.28 trillion naira in january 2024 you can find that in the paper. And then the big story, federal government plans return of cash transfer. Senate reject electricity tariff hike. With the writer here saying lawmakers tell the federal government to import cement and be patient with Tunibu Guan is pleading with Nigerians. You can find detail on page six. Coming from the police, we arrested Labour Party Chairman Abre over possession of firearms. Now we see that already he's going through interrogation concerning the over 3.5 billion naira of um, money that belongs to the past and now here we're seeing that he was being arrested over possession of firearms well let us see how the interrogation we go concerning that and we have labor house crack as tuc differs with nlc over two day strike i mean i mean two day protest rather this is not the first time we're having them the fallout between the tuc and the nlc so we look forward to that and here nlc saying we are one family they are telling the trade union you can find more detail of this um, issue between the two um, um, houses in inside the paper bulls return as equity market gains 165 billion naira more detail on page 23 and on the issue of suicide ogun clamps down on illegal nursing institution on suicide ogun clamps down on illegal nursing institution you can read more of that on page 14 downside of the paper finally federal government hands over zugeru hydroelectric power plant to concessionary you can find that on page 15. we have the pictures there where we can see the former military head of state go on together with the president during the talk at the vida in abuja yesterday more details can be found in the paper and that's all on the blueprint newspaper on leadership newspaper, Kemi Nandab appointed new controller general of immigration. Despite DSS warning, labor insists on protest. Nursing student commits suicide in Ogun. This is a trend and a number. CBN raises exchange rate for cargo clearance to 1,605 naira to a dollar. You can find details on page two. Gowan asks ECO has to lift sanctions on Burkina Faso, Mali, and New Jersey. Details can be found on page 10. The big story, Edo governorship. APC orders fresh primary to clear legal hurdles. Replaces Uzo Dimma with O2 as panel chair. Presidency NWC in renewed alliance to deliver Dennis Idahosa. Tenable rules out zoning formula. Details can be found on page 4. 
Police DSS arrest Abure over mob attack attempted murder. Senate rejects planned electricity tariff hike. Gunmen kill 24, injure 18, burn houses in Benue State. The Nara gains trend at official market closes at $1,542 to a dollar. You can find more details on page 28. Picture story showing go on and Tinibu and that's all the news on Leadership Newspaper. On the Guardian newspaper, custom 5 trillion Naira target threatens straight heightened price crisis. Now here we're seeing that it costs about 16 million Naira to clear a 1 um, a one by 40 50 container and 10 million Naira to clear 1 by 50 feet container. Now we're seeing that import rate and adjustment on that Tunibu from May 2023 to date. Now we can see the prices as they have been going up from May down to this very moment so you can do well to read more for those who are into shipments and all of that so you know what it will take you to clear your containers and we have five banks in PMN charges hit 580 billion naira in nine months you can find more on page 15. petrol queues spread nationwide as Ipman Piman blames the supply distribution. Now we were thinking initially it was because we have need to go in on strike. Now we're seeing um, Ipman is saying the reason for that is because there is a supply disruption. So we hope that that will be covered soon. So we'll see that the queues will disappear. Transcript processing saga, how not to treat alumni of modern varsities and polytechnics can find more detail of that inside the paper we've been having a number of students complaining before you get to process your transcript and all of mm -hmm. that you go through so much of pain so here we're seeing how you how to actually treat a modern alumni uh, of either varsities or polytechnics so we hope that everybody will read that on page four of the guardian newspaper Bruno engages monarchs on reintegration of repentant terrorists you can find more of that on page 29. Well, I hope that we'll be very careful to put them back into the system again so they will not be a threat to people again. Gowan urges ECOWAS to leave sanction against Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. You can find more on page 3. Tinubu gave governors 30 billion naira each to address food shortage. Well, we hope to see governors actually using that money to do something concerning the issues happening. And on sports, we have lack of funds um, forces the T Tigers out of Afro basket qualifiers. You can find more of that on page two. And that's all on the Guardian newspaper. On this day newspaper, Tenebu requires more time to perform. Go on, please, with angry Nigerian. Wants ECOWAS to leave sanction on Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso, withdrawal of exit notice. Nigeria on course to achieving economic stability, says Wale Edun. You can find details on page 5. Federal government have resumed banks signed $1 billion deal to develop Nigeria's health sector value chain. More details can be found on page 6. Edo APC Guba primary crisis claims Uzo Dima party picks Utu as replacement. As Labour Party National Chairman Abure arrested in Edo by police and DSS. You can start with the details on the front page. The big story on the paper, who will save the Naira? Manufacturers cry out. One preferential FX allocation. The right under the story says less than 20% of FX requirement available in banks. Concerns mount over crypto speculation as Naira sustains free fall at parallel market now $1,922. AFCC arrests BDC operators in Kano and Ibadan. And we have upcom blames FS volatility on market forces, liquidity challenges. More details can be found on page 32. Welcoming General Gowan to the villa. That is the picture story on the paper. And that's all the news on this day newspaper. On the Vanguard newspaper, CBN reverse self raised custom duty rate to 1,605 to 82 couple per dollar. More details found on page 19. Still on April 2024, the National Working Committee have dropped Ozodima and appoint Otu to conclude the primary today. Tunibu not interested in Zuni. This is coming from Oshomole. Anxiety as 10 aspirants fight for PDP tickets today. We hope that it will come out smoothly and then the best will actually emerge the winner. Nigerians should give Tunibu more time coming from Gowan. 
police arrest Labour Party National Chairman Abure and Abalu in Benin. You can find more of that on page 12. Apapa Greek Lord businesses lose 100 billion naira monthly as petrol tankers container occupy the roads. You can find more on page 7. MFL accuses a party of defamation, demands 25 billion naira, more detail in the paper. And on the issue of the hardship happening, DSS and Labour Party are talking about the national uh, labor in face of overplanned protests. Hardship, DSS, NLC in, fa in face of overplanned protests. Shelf your protests, DSS tell organized labor. Add some elements planning violence. Face your job, you can't stop us, NLC, DS, DSS. And we have JAF takes on DSS, reaffirms support for NLC. More detail found in the paper. We have other column for sport and also another coming from Ulufasan. You can do well to read more detail of that. Now we have a column here where we have the IMF sees Naira depreciating by 35% to 2000, uh, 2008 to 1 Naira to a dollar in the official market. Well, we do not know what the speculations are, how they came up with that. But then we just hope that um, that will be addressed before it gets to that amount soon. You can read more detail of that on page 26, and that's all on the Vanguard newspaper. On Nigerian Tribune, Senate to federal government, don't increase electricity tariff to investigate 2 trillion naira subsidy and trillion naira debt. Leave sanction on Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso, Gowan tells ECOWAS, says it's too early to judge Tinibu. Federal government set to begin direct cash transfer to 15 million Nigerians. On another paper, we saw 12 million, and now we're seeing 15 million Nigerians. I just hope that is more of 15 million than 12. Mm -hmm. The higher the number, the better the impact. You can find details on page 14. The big story, Naira crisis, AFCC rate buried the change operators in Abuja, Ibadan, and Kano. Labor Party chairman Abure arrested in Edo State. MFA threatens to sue Apabio for 25 billion naira over alleged defamation. Arrest anyone planning to use our protest to cause crisis NLC charges DSS. Fresh APC primary NWC Saxo Zodima replaces him with Cross River Governor. Inconclusive poll to be concluded today, PDP to hold primary election amid tight security. Details on page 17. Akere Dolu raised his voice to speak truth to power, a statement coming from Ayi Datiwa. Special court session commendation service hold in Akure or was stand still as traditional procession holds. Most details can be found on page 19. We have a picture story showing that and that's all the news on Nigerian Tribune. All right, let's take a look at the nation newspaper. Senate proposed a plan to remove electricity subsidy, more detail found on page 25 of the Nation newspaper. And then on April 2024, APC to conclude primary president not for zoning, PDP OK strict guidelines and then justify exclusion of 381. You can find all of these on page 31. 12 million more Nigerians to get direct cash transfer. More can be found on page 4. Abure help for attempted murder, firearm possession. More detail inside the paper. Federal workers get four months wage award. I hope that it doesn't stop at the federal level, but it gets down to even the local government level. Give Tenable reforms more time. Go on, please, with Nigerians. And then the writer following that story. We have ECOWAS should leave suspension on Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso. More detail found on page 2. Federal government fixing routes leading to ports, says Oyetola. More detail inside the paper. NLC reject DSS warning to shelf planned protests. Secret police hoodlums likely to hijack the match. TUC disown Ajeros on unilateral moves. You can find more detail of that inside the paper. And here we're seeing Akira Dulu's body in Owo for final right. We can see the present governor of the state, Ayeda Tiwa, over there during that um, right. More detail can be found on page 4. Troops kill terrorists in Kaduna. Forest clear the hideout and then Oyori reopens facility. More detail found on page 6 of the Nation newspaper. 
and that's all on the nation newspaper on daily sun Peter Obi carpets federal government as CBN raises custom exchange rate to 1,605 Naira. And then we have the big story saying hardship, revolt brewing. We have Agba Koba warns government, says federal government not communicating hope to Nigerians, importers, man, others grown as Naira continues free fall. Details can be found on page 6 and 25. High cost of living, DSS labor clash over plant strike. MFLA fights back, demands 25 billion dollars as damages for Fabio over alleged defamatory remark. We support clampdown on illegal operators coming from Guadabe and then and that, that is the upcon chair. This is on Forex speculators. You can find details on page 25. On Edo Guba, new twist as APC replaces Uzo Dema with Otu. It's unfair for party to single out state for zoning, a statement coming from Oshemole. This caused 7.78 million consumers in limbo over procurement of electricity meters, still on Forex, and then the hike in the prices of meters. Labor, lab, um, Labor Party crisis gets messier as police arrest Abure in Edo. We arrested him for attempted murder robbery. This is coming from force. You can find details on page 29. Federal government considers relaunch of cash transfer to vulnerable Nigerians. Targets 12 million people. Details can be found on page 28. Our career stands still as a Kerodolu's body arrives governor's office. Details can be found on page 25. We have a picture story that has been on most of our papers and then one showing the managing director and CEO Kids Global Leasing Limited, Ikene for receiving the Sun Humanitarian Service Icon Award from wife of former governor of Imo State in Keichi Okorocha in Lagos. And that's all the news on Daily Sun newspaper. New Richard, this resumption of um, transfer that was supposed to go to 12 million households. We are seeing mm. federal government needs to relaunch the transfer. We know that the person that was in charge of it then was a humanitarian affair um, minister that's talking about better. better. And then we better thank you so much. And then we're seeing that um, she's still going through a lot of interrogation <laughs> as she is presently. So now we are seeing the resumption. Now I'm a, I'm a bit. Um, I'm, I'm a bit, I'm like say, afraid, or I'm, I'm just sharing a concern. Yeah. Where we're seeing that they're targeting 12 million people. And I know that this has been a question that has been reoccurring often. Um, the fact that how do they intend to share this money? Yes, we know that they said there is a register. Mm -hmm. But then we've always had issues whereby if you are supposed to send this money and then you say there is a register, we hardly target the people that are supposed to be targeted. Mm -hmm. yeah. We had it hardly gets to the main people they're supposed to get. And each time we said anytime a money like this, and that's why we always encourage our viewers and supporters, let us get feedbacks coming from Nigerians because yes. when our government do well, we are supposed to applaud them and when they are not doing well, we are supposed to bring them back on order. That mm -hmm. is our responsibility to hold them accountable because we are the voice of the people and so i'm sure I'm, i just hope that uh, with this 12 million more that you are resuming i remember you and i have been hammering the fact that we just saw a few people who mm -hmm. were actually showing it yeah. in the US, but then nothing more we're seeing that they're relaunching it so we hope that it actually gets to the people i know where we saw that the governor the president said that he gave governors 30 billion naira each mm. we did we saw that on the paper rachel these are just two stories, and I just hope that it actually used this money for what's supposed to be used. Because with the way things are here, we did get it, or we're just having the president saying so. Very true, Richard. Yeah. So it's a concern, and I just hope that my concern is valid, and I just hope that it will get to the people it's supposed to get eventually. Stella, your concern is absolutely and very, very valid. When you talk about 12 million, the, the number one concern, first of all, the poorest of the poor in Nigeria are more than 12 million. That is the truth. We are looking at a very high poverty rate. And if we're going to, you know, select out the poorest of the poor, the poorest of the poor from among the poorest of the poor, then how are you going to do it? We're talking about people who don't even have bank accounts because they've never had a reason to own bank account. They've never had a job that wants them to have bank accounts. They've just been probably from hand to mouth farming mm -hmm. and doing all these petty things. 
and you say you want to do cash transfer, automatically you can't target the poorest of the poor, even if you try hard. It's still just going to go to every and whoever is a lucky Nigerian. It's just going to be that. It's just going to be randomly going to whoever lucky enough to see this cash transfer from the federal government of Nigeria and then we move. In the end, that's just what it's going to be because if you're talking about your register, when, when last did you up, upload, uh, update it? Because the numbers should have changed. And some people that were poor could no longer be poor anymore because people have been able to grow past certain level at some. So when last was it updated? Is it up to date? And are you sure that it's even valid and you can really use it too? So it's still going to boil down to 12 million lucky Nigerians who will be able to get this cash transfer from the federal government. But I doubt it much. A few very, very poor will be among those lucky Nigerians. But if the federal government really wants to target the very poor, I keep saying it is easy. It's very easy to have that. It's, it's easy to break down and go to the root of it and find those who are poor and really meet them at the point of their need but if you want to go for cash transfer then just say you want to f target the lucky 12 million nigerians or whoever will be able to get it mm -hmm. i'm looking forward to where we'll have a government that is very intentional not only are they intentional but strategic also you you set out a plan and say okay we want to target the poor poor the very poor and then this is how we are going to do it because this is where you can actually find the poorest of the poor but when you just do things randomly then it's still going to be random people getting out there and every nigerian needs that help right now but truly there are those who need it more than the others oh, yes. exactly and if you want to get to those people you know exactly what you want to do but i guess nobody wants to do the work nobody wants to do the real work there that, that is supposed to be done mm. you richard i mean when you're talking about nobody wants to do the real work i remember then when kiyamo was the minister state level for labor and then he was in charge of making sure that the 774 mm. local government area was supposed mm. to have some casual workers there and then very few of them were able to get their pay as of the time because they were supposed to be, I mean, target every local government a particular number at mm. that part. And they were trying to say, how did you come about getting those people? So I think it's the same way now. If from 15 million, we've gone to 12 million. Are we trying to say we've already given out to 3 million three Nigerians million, yeah. already? And how come those 3 million Nigerians are not close by to actually and nobody is saying Yes, mm. I've actually got in this cash transfer. Just like you raise a very valid point, most of these poor of the poorest do not even have a bank account. So how do you intend to give them this cash? Are you going to be giving them table payment? Will they be coming? Mm. Are you sure there will be no chaos? Nobody is going to forge? Are you sure that the last time you checked the register, some people have not died, some people mm -hmm. have not upgraded, some people have not become worse because mm -hmm. more people are supposed to have added to this yeah. number. With the way things are a bag of rice now is 75,000 or mm. 77,000, depending on where you are buying it for. So everybody right now is in need of this by date, as it is presently. Yeah. So I just think it's, a, it's, a, it's a, just like you said, nobody's ready to put in the work. But we hope that they will. I remember during the election, a number of Nigerians raised a concern. Wow, so I need have a number because I need kept <laughs> stopping us. If you are yet you. to get your PVC, go yeah. get your PVC. They kept sending this message. So how comes INEC had the number of everybody to send that message? How comes all of this thing, but then when it comes to things that is to benefit mm -hmm. Nigerians, and then you don't even have a contact? Just like you said, it seems it's going to be for 12 lucky Nigerians mm -hmm. that will actually get it. So let us just give the government, I guess, um, at this point in time, we'll just give them the benefit of that and see how they intend to send this money across. But we hope that for our viewers and our supporters, if you get this... Um, this money it is important that we get a feedback so that we'll be able to appreciate the government because mm. when they do well we should tell them well done and when they are not doing well definitely we'll come after them to tell them what yes. they need to do well i think at this moment we would love to take a break so we'll let you through the story where since senate have actually rejected the um hike of electricity tariff and also saying that for now the removal of the electricity subsidy should be suspended. Looking at the hardship, we're seeing there's a dragging between the NLC and the DSS, where DSS is telling the NLC to abort the protest they are planning to have for next week, but it seems NLC is bent on having that protest. And we're seeing that NLC seems to be having a fallout with TUC concerning the protest. So we would love to hear your own views. 
concerning any of the story we have been looking at. And when we come back, we will continue with the paper analysis. Please stay tuned with us. Thank you for staying tuned. It's still the ladies. We have been looking at a number of stories on the paper. We've seen that a former, that's talking about the ex um, state, um, talking about the head of state, Kowan, this is head of president, Tinubu, to talk about what is happening in ECOWAS and as well to plead with Nigerians to please be patient with the policies that the president has put in place, that everything will be okay. We're saying that uh, DSS is actually telling the C NLC not to go on the protest they are planning to have. And we're saying that the NLC is also having a rift with the TUC concerning the protest, whether they will join them or not. We have a number of other stories on the paper where we're saying that um, there have been a session that was held for Akira Dulu and also we've seen that in court as well as in Uvo. So a number of stories are actually on the paper that are quite of interest and we'd love to hear your own views so you can do well to actually drop it on our Facebook or YouTube concerning any other story that is of interest to you. I have Rachel Tansi here with me still. Thank you, Rachel. You're welcome, sir. All right, let's continue. Let's take a look at the metrics newspaper. And on the metrics we have Forex crisis, we are working with federal government to block dollar Naira exchange. This is coming for B, the Binance. We can find more detail of that inside the paper. And then on AFCON, why I couldn't save penalty against Nigeria coming from South Africa goalkeeper. You want to hear his own side of the story. You can read more detail of that on page 16. Police revealed the real reason for Labour Party chairman Abure's arrest. Nap for attempted murder, illegal possession of firearms, and related offenses. So it seems to have quite a number of um, cases on his head. So you can do a trade more detail of the reason why the Labour Party chairman was arrested. And the big story protests against hardship. No going back. This is a big caption coming from the NLC. Labour accuses DSS of assigning itself a new role of chief spokesperson of the government says we can't fold our hands and pretend all is well it will be a grievous conspiracy urge dss to arrest those planning to use opportunity of protest to foment crisis more detail found in the paper and let's take a look at what's happening at the stock market where we've seen investors gain 165 billion naira as bua cement and then First Bank Nigeria Holdings lead the sales. More detail found on page 10. Let's give Tinubu time to address Nigeria's challenges coming from Yakubu Gowan, the former ex-head of state. Dramas and MFLA threatening to sue a view for 25 billion naira over alleged defamation. You can find more on page 3. And we're having um, that from the entertainment industry. Tony Tetula Idris Abdulkari is a bloody liar. So you can read more. He had an interview here where St. Tony said all of that was a lie. So you can find more detail of that on page 15. Edo Guba primary fresh crisis erupts as APC SAC Ozodema appoint Governor Otu election committee chairman. Senate warned the federal government against electricity tariff hike to investigate Adelebu over the two trillion naira subsidy claims 
more detail found inside and we can see the picture story where we are having the president with Guwan and the talk concerning in the interests of the country. You can do how to grab the paper in more detail of any of the story that is of interest to you. On the Daily Times newspaper, fix gas supply gap to boost industrialization, Illuminati charges federal government. Hunger crisis, Red Cross Society, Eco Bank partner on intervention. We arrested LP chairman for attempted murder, statement coming from police. Equities market post rebound gains 165.09 billion naira. You can start with the details on the front page. The big story on the Daily Times, NLC DSS set to clash over planned nationwide protests. You can find more details on page 5. Federal government to commence direct cash transfer to 15 million households to be able to ease a hardship in the country. You can start with the details on the front page. Southeast, Southwest, North Central to get development commissions. Details can be found on page 4 and that's all the news on the Daily Times newspaper. All right, let's take a look at what's on the Business Day newspaper. Grain price drop won't last long. This is coming from Esper. All year farming mechanization seen boosting output and then average farm yield must increase. And I totally believe with the Esper concerning that if only we want the price of grain to actually go down, yeah. then we need to look into having all year farming. And I think this is boiled down to the federal government, state government, as well as local government areas. Because True. For you to have access to the farm, you need to work with these communities, and most of them are in the rural areas. So there is a need for mechanized farm. And we've been, I can't remember how, how many times we've hammered this on this particular point, Rachel, the fact that the government needs to do something. Because yeah. when we're talking about hardship, it still boils down to what the government can do to help. Yes. And we mentioned the fact that the first thing the government needs to do is address insecurity. Once you've addressed insecurity, the way Nigerians are, Rachel, they can handle every other thing on their own. But just handle this very big giant that's actually stopping them from going to their mm -hmm. farm now because when we have all of this being addressed nigerians look for a way to do every other thing in as much as we know it's the responsibility of the government to provide improved seedling to provide fertilizer and make sure that if you can give the farmers a soft loan that can actually help them to start something i think that will go a long way and we see that we'll come back to being the food basket again but then until then I do not see anything that the grains will actually go down, except it will keep going high, because I've not seen a time where a good was up, and then eventually the price crashed down. It's very difficult. So let us see what our government will do together with other NGOs, um, individuals, and other parasites that are into this, so we can see that we can all put our hands together to see that we have a long-lasting solution to the hunger in the land in relation to going into farming and providing all the machines that are needed for that. Let the government take over. We're in a position right now that if we should even leave agriculture to capital capitalism, we'll still be in trouble because then we will just be faced with another privatized kind of um, way of getting food in the country. Imagine if eventually we have investors coming in, bringing in the mechanized farming, adopting all types of farming, food will still be expensive. So I'm looking forward to where the government will take over because there's so much they can do if they take over. I'm not saying they will subsidize, but there's a market control they can have. And then we can have a price ceiling when the government is in charge and being able to keep things under control. But without all of that, I just keep seeing ourselves like going just around the, the same cycle concerning food insecurity and also its availability and accessibility and affordability, like everything regarding the food and prices that is going on in this country. So let the government wake up and take over. It's beyond giving free bags of fertilizers or subsidizing the bags of um, the prices of fertilizers for farmers is it important yes but if it was good enough if, if that was a solution then we wouldn't be where we are mm -hmm. so it obviously says is 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 kind of a little bit of an insignificant percentage to what we are going through now so let them up their game i'm not saying let them stop giving subsidy for fertilizers or giving it free of charge it's far from that but it shows that it does little or nothing. And how many farmers get access to those fertilizers? We still have more than 80% of farmers having to just 
have to access these fertilizers with their own money and just 20 percent really get access to that that comes from um, the government and all of that so there's so much work that needs to be done we've talked about that mm, countless times and will not stop over emphasizing until we they finally listen and then when we will know the government have listened when they start acting towards that kind of direction that proves that we are making headway concerning food security in the country and Richard it's a sad one that I have to say this but that it is as it is presently everything is left to privatization yeah. that is what it is because presently I cannot mention how many farmlands our government have presently mm -hmm. I cannot even how many how many we are going to talk about fish farming how many do our farm uh, do the government have rubber farming cocoa farming coconut and all of that most yeah. of it are being owned by private individuals so what are we saying who are we kidding as it is presently it's just a sad one that anytime government is supposed to I, ideally in an mm -hmm. ideal situation if the government is having control over all of this thing, we should see things being better but I mean every anytime we see anything that the government is supposed to take care of they don't even take care of it well they don't just take a look at anything that the government owes they, there's this laxity and I don't care attitude mm -hmm. coming from the government concerning that too Maybe we need to change our attitude coming from the government concerning taking care of all of this thing. Then we can see um, maybe a significant difference in the way things will go on mm -hmm. henceforth. So let us mm -hmm. see what the government will do concerning taking agriculture back fully the way they should take it. Sit on business day newspaper. We have digital lenders tightening post string as defaulters spike. More detail found in the paper. <coughs> Remittance trade with Nigerian seen dropping as the UK economy slows. You can find that on page 31. Relief as pension regulator crossed 326 million naira from defaulters in the third quarter. Nigeria restrained crypto access months after lifting the ban. More detail found on page 30. And we have a, a picture story here during a business day management um, meeting on food in Lagos yesterday. You can do well to grab the paper in more detail of this story that is of interest to you. On Punch Pod Extra, Chukwezi, I first Europa goal in four years. On Yenezi Day, Ajekai joined Madrid CFF. R Reds fight back to maintain lead. We are seeing Liverpool winning 4-1 against Luton. And we're having Napoli having a draw with Barcelona. Victor's back of Simeon's cause to save Paternopel's blushes. We have Madrid won over Mbappe signing. More details can be found on page three. Arsenal hold talks with Robert. Haaland has silenced critics. This is coming from Pep. Lewandowski, Griezmann linked with MLS move. They want to go to the Major League Soccer in America. You can find details on page three. We have Enequechi um, set new African record. This is for short pool. Goal getters start setting NPFL on fire with goals at the downside of the paper. Murray loses to teenager in quarter. This is for tennis. Joshua in spectacular shape ahead of Guano Clash. We wait and see the results. You can find details on page two, and that's all the news on Punch Sports Extra. Well, thank you so much, Richard. For You're welcome, Sally. Thank you to our viewers and our supporters for keeping a moment with us on the dailies until we come tomorrow. Again, do have a blessed day ahead.